guys, um, welcome to How to Catch Mullet. Today I'm going to show you using my mullet kit. I'm going to Greece for two weeks, so I'll show you some videos of me catching mullet there. So, I've got this pack here that I use a lot when I go fishing. Let's go, um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. Let's go here. Um, I keep all my kit in here, so in my pocket I've got my um, box that I keep stuff in here. So I've got um some shot um there with can you see it? Sure, if you can see that on the camera, but MIDI Twin Cut Shot SSG, good for floats and stuff. And then I've got all this, um, all these, um, hooks. And what I do when I'm mullet fishing, I'm not sure you can see them right there. Okay, let me. So, um, they're just some hooks with some four pound line stuff on them. And I just, what I do is I get them all, like a few hooks, get like six or seven, I forgot. Yeah. And then you tie them in a hot knot and then you just cut off all of them apart from one loop. And then you tie that to your line with that you make to a float and stuff. And then you just cover the, all the hooks in red. I think that's what the Greeks do also, but I like to do it. And I put these floats, quite a few. And I only just found this float out today. You can take the top off, and then you put it. Then that just goes more. But you know it's not great to see. Just got one of these. Nice float. Um if you're a sea fisherman and then you try fishing for mullet, it, and you're used to casting big sea floats, yeah it is a bit of a change. Yeah. <laughs> casting little shot. Like me. I'm a sea fisherman. But I'd like to use I'm just I do loads of different fishing. Uh wherever we are trying to go fishing in Greece hopefully yeah we're going to Paxos so hopefully we'll catch some mullet and stuff there so yeah by the way if you if you've been to Paxos and you've caught any big fish leave it in the comments below thank you and yeah I just use um I just found this hook on the floor at the moment These, but I also just go for a single hook like that. These are um, crab hooks. I just I'd recommend on buying these at your local tackle shop or whatever. Sorry, the picture on this camera's not very good. It's not my usual one, but um, yeah. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, and also you can make ground bait. You know that cow cheese or whatever, you know, it comes in slices. Yeah, you get that with some crappy white bread. And then you just put it in a bowl or bucket or whatever of seawater like that much. Like that much seawater. And then you just mix it all together and chuck that in. Leave, and then that will attract some mullet. If it doesn't, well... And by the way, if you're not allowed to fish on your local pontoon or whatever, if I live in London, so, but, yeah, 
and I would recommend going to St Moore's Mullet Fishing, that is very good, or Dartmouth, you know, anywhere, basically anywhere with a harbour or whatever. So, basically, sorry, I say basically, you know, um, I just have a small tackle box, like this, and then my rod is, I like to use a Shakespeare rod, I can't remember what it's called, um, just out there. Um, yeah, they're good, just for mullet fishing in the harbour. And also, watch out, because I've got this happened to me, um, where you get, where you cast out your line, and then like a little motorboat, like little rib thing, comes along and gets all the line tangled up in it, in the propeller, so just watch out for that if you're fishing in the harbour. And also, don't always kill the mullet, because they're if you keep killing them, they'll eventually be endangered. I know they're not that endangered, but if you catch a red mullet, definitely don't kill them. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've got, yeah, I've kind of showed you all my kit. So, I might have some in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've also got big for putting in there it's a mm, nice peacock what is it And while the fishing is good, I'd recommend just watching some videos on it. And yeah, that's it from me. Mullet fishing. Mullet fishing kid out.